we have here. It's a bald eagle and a kill. Good way to start the morning. Look a baby deer of some sort that was killed. And he's going down there. Here comes another one. Yeah, here comes another bald eagle. he or she is that. I suppose I'd never get tired of filming this area. String Lake. <laughs> Gotta be my favorite place. One of my favorite places here. I think I just keep on coming back to it. I know when I have choices, this is always the choice I make in coming here. When given a lot of other options, <clears throat> this is always a good one. So this is in my backyard right now. Just walking by. Believe that? I was just walking by. Almost. So look at the size of that wheel. I'll be gone that thing turns. I will be gone. Uh, that is so big. Wow. That must be 12 foot high at the head. <laughs> now, 
what makes this picture better than yesterday is not only do we have the eagle still eating on this carcass, but we have some elk in the back. We have here a bald eagle and a kill. Good way to start the morning. A baby deer of some sort that was killed. And he going down there. Here comes another one. Here comes another body there. He's interested. 
interested, he or she, is that. Rachel and myself entering into Old Faithful Inn. Pretty amazing place. Something else. Wow. Pretty amazing. Always get a foot out of the here. Great place. Here's Rachel. 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 <laughs> How does it feel to be a part of the documentary? Oh, it's just a great, exciting adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, a little old faithful going on. And, wow, this might be going off earlier than I expected. Okay, we're gonna go take a look at it. Rachel filming. Oh. <laughs> And the window just open right now, so you got another 20 minutes. Okay. Rachel and I in front of Old Faithful. It's steam. Let's let go off. <laughs> can you take a picture for me? Yeah. Thank can you, can you get a picture out of it? Old Faithful. Good thing we came out and we did. Go, Old Faithful, go! <laughs> <laughs> Old Faithful, come on, Rich, get in. <laughs> There's Old Faithful going off. Oh, look at this. So cool. <laughs> Rachel, I'm not asking anything right now because I want to see Old Faithful. Are you somebody taking? Yeah, I'm going to Rachel 2013 Hello. finally joined us on a day travel finally adventure. finally did. It took many took years, years to get her back here. <laughs> it really did. So, Rachel, how's it feel to be with Daddy Dane Travel? I don't want to be in the camera. Though. How's it feel to be with Dane, Daddy Dane Travel? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an honor to be in one of those videos after seeing so Who's many of them. Who's saying you're going to make it? You might be, be, be edited out. Like this. <laughs> no, they're great. They're, they're good videos. I, just, I'm here, I might just edit her out. Oh, hey, don't do that. <laughs> Old Faithful, one of the great lodges in America. Bubbling pot. It's called Chinese Spring. <laughs> window into earth.
Geyser. Beehive Geyser, Rachel. Beehive Geyser. You're stupid about being regular. While we're standing here. We're trying really, really hard to sit something out here in the middle. We're going high as soon as we can. Well, I think you've seen one hot spring or geyser. Seen them all, but it's not true. They're all very uniquely different. I wish I could explain what's going on with the ground. Water is actually the hottest water. Um, it's blue because no microorganisms are living in it at that point. It's too hot. So uh, blue water in Yellowstone in the hot springs is a no-no. Means anywhere between 170 and 200 degrees wow. Fahrenheit. So as inviting as they look to jump in and swim, you'd be jumping to your death pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, a great illustration of uh, <clears throat> the lethality of the pools is. Right over here on the other side of the river, there's a blue star. It's called, yes. blue, called Blue Star it Spring. Called. Yes. Uh, and down in the bottom of it. So the antlers, right? Yep, well, bison bones. Bison bones, mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, leaf skin, you know, basically can't tolerate more than a half second in anything over 170 degrees. Yeah. So it'd be pretty much instant. Well, thank you very much. Mm hmm. <laughs> Rachel and Daddy Adventures 2013 over here by Old Faithful looking at all the geysers. Thanks Rachel for uh, for bringing my attention to this because it's something I probably wouldn't have done by myself. Yeah, sure. It's nice to have you here after five years. <laughs> Rachel is in the Old Faithful Inn eating breakfast right now. I am. <laughs> and you're eating grits. I am. I like the eggs better than them. The <laughs> eggs are really good. <laughs> and this? A little bit. So good. <laughs> He's a big fella. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Let's turn around. Get a picture of me and the buffalo. Oh, I'm gonna ask him to take it first. Come here, Rachel. Oh, oh you really? Oh. Good old Rachel, cooperative. <laughs> Always cooperative. Oh, yes. Fire Hole Falls. That's where this is. Actually, the falls is up ahead. But this is a great place. Wouldn't you agree, Rachel? Back up with me. I'll step back. Five. 
spot. Now that's by Whole Falls. Oh, we're taking That's a great spot. Turn around, Rach. Go over here, Rach. I've been wanting to come back here and swim ever since I was here with Jeremy. This water is really, really, really warm. And Rachel and I are going to get ready to go down there and do it, right, Rach? Yeah. It's good to be have your daddy's Dane Traveler. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a ball game. Yeah, go. I got you, bitch. Go, go. It's going to be a good film. Go. Ah. Just swim right to me. All right. <laughs> Will you look where I'm at? This is Firehole Falls, the canyon. And up here, it's so cool. The water pushes you through. You were swimming all around. Okay, come here, come here. Rachel and I are in Firehole Falls together. Didn't know we'd be swimming today. I did not know that. <laughs> oh yeah, this is great. Look at the way, and we're gonna go through this little canyon area. And we're going to go in the cave. Let's go swim right in the cave. We're going to try to film it. We're going in the cave we're together. Cave right there? Yeah, we'll go right over those rocks. Come okay. on. This is hilarious. <laughs> Whoa. Did you stand here? I'm kind of scared. Whoa. Okay. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. This is the best. Is this, is this everything I just cracked up to be? I told you. Was. For me I... to get that excited, you know, I was. Can you go in there? Yeah, you can. Like, how do you. I don't really want to get out of the water. Okay. So. Yeah. There's there you go. No. Okay. So, I'm in this cave, Firehole Falls, and this is good. This is good stuff. Yeah. I did this with Jeremy. A few years ago, and I wasn't able to get back here since. Mr. Boucher, if you're watching this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show him this. <laughs> this is great stuff. So Rachel and I are going to swim up ahead here, and we're gonna come flying through here and into this area. Get over to your right, right. Keep hard to your right. Whenever you're ready, got out that way. But listen, don't go head first. Okay. Just jump over there. We're just take you for a ride. Don't dive in. Do not dive in. Jump in. Go. One, two, three. There she goes. And there she is. All right. And I'm going. Baby. That was wild. Okay. Whoa, Dad, right here. Whoa. That was a ride. <laughs> so how was that, Rachel? Oh, it was great. I didn't know I was going to be swimming. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah it was so awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Not sideways, go the other way. Here he comes. There he is. <laughs> I will. You definitely got me, right? You saw the red dot. Go, you're on. Really? Rachel, yeah. she's going to get us both. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll do the same for you. that rock right right around where you are it'll be really nice hey Rachel <clears throat> you're hanging out in Yellowstone I know, I know. with daddy traveler <laughs> Whatever you're ready, Rich. Right way out to that middle. Way out. Go. One, two, three. Way out. Wow. Good job. Good job. All right. About to jump off here. How many feet would you say that is, sir? Oh, about 15. 15 feet? Oh, 15 feet. Okay. It looks a little further than that. It looks like 100. Here I go. So is it just video recording? It's, you, yeah, don't do a thing with it. Okay, when I'm done, just push that red button. Red button, got it. Come up here and get me going. Let me come over to the edge here. All right. You keep it running. Huh? Keep oh it running. no, you go. No, that's dangerous. Oh, once he jumps, you go around over here. Climb up on the side. You just leap right from here. Yeah, right off the edge here. Okay. Oh. Okay. You go one, two, three. Let's jump. Jump in the middle. One, two, one, two. Yeah, I got it. Woo! You're good. Amazing. <laughs> Spectacular. All right, we've been here before. I've been here before. First time for Rachel. Over there, Rachel. Well, I discovered this jewel, this hike, last time I was here, and it's a great one. Beautiful waterfall, 
And what's even better about this hike is I got Rachel with me. And she's an absolute delight. She loves this place. And she... I miss Wyoming. Yeah. And I'm thankful to be here, but I miss Wyoming. She's ecstatic oh, about oh, it. She could live here all year. <laughs> I wish I knew how to pronounce the name of this fall. OC, I think it is. It's beautiful. It was worth showing Rachel this. What do you think, Rachel? It's really nice. <laughs> Great fall. Ice cold, Dad. Wow. How cold is that? It's really?
ਤਿਆਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਇਸ ਮੋਰ Jeff, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, another adventure. Another adventure. This time we have another sidekick. Hello. <laughs> All right, there's the horses. We'll be riding Hal. And okay. Rachel will be riding Charlie. All right. Hal and Charlie are the horses. And we're going to go up to the mine again. And then over to... Oh, you think I would remember the creek? Simmons Creek over here? Oh, Simmon Creek. There we go. You might say I'm high on my horse. <laughs> this is a real cowgirl. Cabin? Uh-huh. All right, get ready for a little adventure behind the cabin again. We're going to go up to that mine, and then we're going to go over to Cinnamon Creek. Okay, going to ride over the bridge. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. That's me leading the horse. There's Rachel leading her horse. She's a real cowgirl now. Real cowgirl, that Rachel. And that's where we're heading. It up somewhat before they hauled it out. And it goes all the way up. We could tie horses here and walk up, or I could hold them and you can walk up. So this is the entrance to the mine. Portal. It's called the portal. This is the portal. This is the portal. And you can see the railroad tracks in there. They had a narrow gauge railroad with cars and they'd fill the cars inside the mine and push them out here and dump them in the chute and it would go down to the processing area. And there's the chute. Look at the view though. And this was all used in World War II, mostly probably by the Navy. Rachel's a real adventure girl. <laughs> All right, Rachel. That's just. You want to pet him? Yeah, you can Rachel. Oh, like you to pet him. you want to go in for a little bit with me? Okay. I should have brought him. In too far, it's... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Rachel. Come on. All right. These, these are very unsafe. In there. You never know what's going to be in there. Yeah, right. I would imagine this would make a heck of a bear den. Or even a even a mountain lion cave. Oh, even a mountain lion cave. But it does. The mountain lion isn't using it now. If you get out here and you start smell, smell, get out and you start smelling wet dog. That's get out. A mountain lion. Okay. Wow. Pretty exciting. Wow. Pretty darn exciting. Oh, not without a flashlight. No way. I thought I heard a little noise. He ran out Man, I'm not going without a light. I had a piece of track that I, we reclaimed one area like this. And I cut a piece of track about that long for the father of one of the girls working for me. She was from southern Illinois. 
and uh, she said her dad was a character. And I said, well, I'll bet 20 minutes after he leaves here, that track came out of the lost book to your mind. No. I well, I've been wanting to see the entrance to this thing, but I can't quite get the nerve to go too far in. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... You want to continue? Well, I think I'll only go just yeah. so far, because... Like you said, who knows what's, who knows there, what's right? in there without a flashlight? Without a gun. Without a, you don't even want to shoot a gun in there. Yeah, right. Okay, but we got video of you and Rachel. <laughs> pretend you like each other. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? Absolutely none. He must be on vacation. He forgot to shave the that So, there, leads all the way down. Yeah. And I just was only going to go, but just so far. See this crack right here. That's right. You got a magna light down at the cabin? I do. I have a headlamp. Alright, here I go. You won't see very far. You know, they talk about the wow. light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you can't see nothing. You know, they talk about the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. When you're down in. Okay. Riding on this. Train's pretty rough. Got Rachel now in the background here. This is a pretty good one. <laughs> it's a pretty good dawn ride. <clears throat> so we're approaching the the uh, bottom here. Where we first started. This is so cool. I used to love playing the game Lara Croft, and this is just like a Lara Croft adventure, trying to find where the mine was. And <laughs> this was just so exciting. I've been dying to see the entrance to this 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 mine, and finally I was able to. When I was here back in May, I thought this down here was the entrance, but this is um, where they were used to every, for, for lack of better terms, processed everything. There's Rachel. Real Rachel and Daddy adventure here today. Look how gorgeous everything is. The bottom of this thing. Wow. That's where we were way up the top. So exciting. Little fella. A little, little fella. It's my horse. Rachel's saddle fell off. That was so exciting. I can't even tell you how much fun that just was. Something I've been wanting to do since I've owned the property is you'll just find out where that, that mine is. And uh, this was this was great. This was really exciting. Now we're gonna head over to Cinnamon Creek and probably go a little further than I did when I was here at night. But um, I won't want to hike that by foot up that hill. I'll tell you. Rachel just fell for horse. The saddle went to one side. She took a pretty good fall. So the Dean Traveler factor. Rachel fell off her horse. The saddle wasn't on tight enough. It started to slide. And rather than the slide, saddle slide up over the horse's head, Rachel dove off. <laughs> so <clears throat> they're fixing her saddle right now. Enjoying a little breakfast. Well, coming back to the cabin, and uh, we're about to cross over the bridge. I don't think the horse is going to do it, but we'll give it a whirl.
Check on my girl here. Beautiful flowers. This time of the year is great for flowers. And this whole area is covered with them. We're recording. Pretend you're having fun, Rachel. I am. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Good. My horse likes to eat. <laughs> they all like to eat. We're recording. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, keep coming. We're still recording. You'll just have to edit some out. Smile, Rachel. Okay, now we'll get some on Rachel. We're recording. Stand still. There's Rachel. Do you want to give yours? I wanted you be recording when you started moving. All right, move. You get a horse ear in the picture. Okay. Whoa. distance streaks alive thanks to the Lord Jesus there's a bear I'm just trying to determine what kind of bear it is it streaks alive what you looking at Rach uh, a bear. <laughs> a grizzly. <laughs> she thinks it might be a cinnamon bear. She no. Says well, God has blessed me again. The streak's alive. First grizzly, very close to the cabin. Oh. This is fabulous. I've been watching him for the last hour. I think he's laying down. Yeah, he's laying down. Cool the car jam. Yeah. You're not kidding. All right, Rachel. Hello. Rachel, you've been watching this grizzly now for about an hour. Yeah, we have. Your father spied this grizzly at about 300. You just saw the car jam. That was pretty 300 funny. yards away. And what's it like to have your father's daddy, uh, Dane Traveler? <laughs> what's it like? It's just uh, ho hum. I, I was pretty. Ho hum. No, stop. Because I was pretty impressed with the car jam. Like, first of all, the spotting across the way. Thank you. And second of I all, I can't see my hand in front of my face, but I can see 300 yard <laughs> grizzly across uh, the Gallatin River. Honestly, right now all the cars are gone, but there was. There's like what, 50? All right, Rachel. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Are oh, you taking the video? Yeah. Oh, I got good luck. Thanks. All right. <laughs>
Okay, so we were watching you from about 100 yards coming up out of the gallatin there when you're fly fishing. When did you become aware of that grizzly's presence? I saw him when I drove by, everybody was stopped, so I went downwind of him and then came up the river and was trying to sneak up on him and get some pictures. I was the first, I spotted him, I was going about 60 miles an hour down the road and I looked over and I saw him on the other side of the gallatin. Yeah. And then I started this car jam. Yeah. And I said, oh my gosh, there's a fly fisherman there. But I was surprised how you knew he was there. Yeah, I, I saw him. I put a, I have a coyote call that has a wounded fawn. Gotcha. I put it out there and I was trying to see if he'd come up to the wounded fawn, but he wasn't interested. You wanted to draw him to you? Yeah, I was just, oh, no, man. I just wanted to draw him up at, within photo photo range. But obviously some people got some great pictures when he we went running. Well, you spooked him right toward us. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I got bug spray on, so I probably smell. You got, you got bear spray on you? No. Oh, man. Just, uh, horse flies. Well, you, 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 you were probably the, the, the star of the show just then. Well, sorry, I, you had the best I, view. I kept a bush between me and him I so saw he could see me, and uh, I was a little surprised he took off running because I was trying to get a little closer for a good photo for my kids. <laughs> wow. Here's a beautiful area that Aaron has me fishing, a.k.a. the bat cave, he calls it. Look at this horrible place. <laughs> so, here's Rachel, first fly fishing experience coming along with me. Aaron, good to see you again. Good to see you. Did you ever think you'd see me again this quickly? Absolutely not. I thought I scared you away. No way. No <laughs> way. Great guy. What kind no. of day are we going to have today? We're going to have a great day, hopefully fishing some dry flies, doing stuff a little differently than in February, as you would imagine. But uh, see if they'll look up. If not, we'll go down and get them. Great, so. Aaron. What do we have here, Aaron? It's a Montana bonefish. Okay. Or the mount, or also known as the mountain white fish. Good fighter, buddy. I'll tell you that. Give me a nice little fight. There he goes. All Good right. Job. No skunk. <laughs>
What'd you think of your day? It was pretty fun. It was interesting, you know. Um, Chilling out here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we hiked out our back door. We both want to hike back up to the mine. We brought some lights with us, and we're going to uh, check out and see what's inside. We don't know how far we'll go. We'll go about five steps or 25 steps, or maybe not at all again. It's pretty scary in there. But it's the Rachel Daddy Adventures, summer 2013. And here's the star to show right here. Oh, yes. Especially the way I look right now. You're going to make it to the mine? Um, I'm kind of determined, so... <laughs> this is how girls are always concerned about how they look. Do you ever notice that? It's the first words out of her mouth. No, it's a better appearance. Beauty's from within. No, no. I... <laughs> this hike's not easy. It's, it's all uphill. Coming back won't be a problem, but... Going up this mine's going to be quite a little journey here. So, it's really nice out today. It has been every day since we've been here. And that's where we came from. Far away. All right, Rachel, aka Lara Croft, we made it to the to the bottom part, which again I thought this was uh, where the mine was in the winter because all this was covered snow and I couldn't see the shafts up ahead, so I thought this mine was just covered up. But this is where again I'm not really a I'm not a miner at all, so I'm just going to use words that I can everybody associate with is that this was where they processed everything and uh, we're about to go where it all came out where they extracted it that's where the venture really lies Rachel seems to be fascinated with these shells, and uh, I think they're just simply snails. They're cool though. Snail shell, but they're all over. I'll put it back farther. Okay, here's the, we're inside the mine. We're a lot further in than we were the other day. Here's the tracks cool. that was extracting whatever these minerals are. Shall we? And proceed. Just do what we did before. Just go a little further each time. Really helps to have these lights. But here's the thing: if we get too far in, and these lights run out. What's that up there? I got that. You want to go to the broom? Rachel, get serious. Okay? You can say light the end of the tunnel. There it is. Wow. How many people's Wow, this is 
crazy stuff. Burned out. Oh. 15 yards from the hole. Oh, this is so creepy. I feel like Scooby Doo. Oh. <laughs> but you know they go to the like. Okay. We've gone as far as we want to go. <laughs> We're going to turn around. It's pretty cool though. I'm almost tempted to go a little further. Pitch dark. Wow. Alright. Don't bump anything. Yeah, they say the light at the end of the tunnel. This is what they mean right here. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. Isn't this cool? That was really I've cool. never ever had it more come to life than the light at the end of the tunnel than right now. And look what this opens into. Stay there. Let me That was great. That was really cool. I was all ready to throw down. Well, made it to the top. We did. Down there is where they process everything. The view is spectacular. Look at the track. Oh, Tracks are leading right into this mine. And Rachel and I are going to go right on into the mine and see what, what's going on. Okay, let's see what this... We went in only a couple steps last time. We're hoping to go a little bit further this time. We brought some lights with us. Okay, so we're journeying inside the mine. We're only about 10 yards in. Here's the tracks. And it would, leads all the way back. Supposedly, this goes back. Keep your light on me, Rich. This goes back about 50 yards or so. And, uh, mm. I don't know if I can get the courage to go 50 yards, but I might go about 20. There's the light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. Rach, you ready? I'm excited. All right, here we go. So we will continue. Rachel and Daddy Adventures taking a whole new level. Oh, yeah. There's what we're saying. Uh, that looks like it's just something, a part of the, what was holding everything up. Or like a rail. Right now, this is a pretty cool little adventure. That's mm -hmm. you I'm a little creeped out, but it's exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're about 20 yards in right now, and we're gonna go just a little bit further. so cool the history of this thing we just don't know exactly all the details of it I wish I could find a book on this this is right behind my house maybe a mile from my from my cabin this is uh, really exciting just to give you a little view here just uh, I just wish I knew what this mineral was and what it supposedly was for it was for packing uh, various things I'm gonna get to the bottom of it though Alright, well, we made it further than we really expected to. Yeah, we got it. And, see, what's, what's, what you have to always wonder is, you know, to what extent, Rach, to what extent, uh, what wildlife, can you look this way, Rach? What wildlife could possibly be in here and yeah. what's going on in here? And that's true. That's, 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 the, that's the element that we're not sure of. Shiny and sparkly, all these minerals. Wow. Wait a minute, I think this could be the end. You gotta be kidding me. 
it? This is the end? No. Really? What am I standing in? Wait a minute, I think this is the end. That's Come it. here. We did it. Wait a minute, wait, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the end. I thought this was going to go way back further. Wow. Wow. Okay. It's Tell hey, you what, it feels awful mushy. No, but that's it. That is it. Okay, we made it to the end. Look at the tracks, they stopped. This is the mine. All right. Wow, okay. Let's head on back. I can't believe we did that. But, again, not to be corny, <laughs> this light at the end of the tunnel. Look at the light. See, yeah, exactly. That's the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, we went to the, the back. We, I had no idea. I thought it was going to go much further back than that. They said 50 yards. I don't think that was 50 yards. I think that was more like 30. But we did it. Okay. Wow. I didn't expect that to be such a short muslet. So cool. Okay, we made it to the end. Stone wall behind me, but <clears throat> I didn't think we were going to go this far, and it turned out not to be as far as uh, we thought it was going to be about 35 yards or so. This was really cool. This is a really cool adventure. I'm sure this has a lot of history, and a lot of people worked in here and extracted whatever the mineral this is, which I'm uh, dying to get to the bottom of. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, this really was an exciting little adventure. Only Rachel and I. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rich and I are fighting inside of a cave right now, <laughs> arguing. <laughs> oh, all right. Hey, was it thrilling to make it though? It really was. I, nice I, job. Well, I can't believe how short it is. Yeah. Because I thought it was gonna go back like double this. But, yeah. I mean, it's still really awesome. I'm glad there's no bats in here. <laughs> yeah, really. About. But the track is really cool. I think how it goes all the way back. You know? All right. Good. Quite the adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> and a good old fight inside the cave. <laughs> Whether it be Rachel inside. and Daddy adventure, it wasn't a good fight involved. <laughs> Um, the whole cave is going to collapse on us <laughs> as we're fighting. But this was great. Uh, th this was really thrilling. I mean, to be able to hike right out your backyard and come to this to this mine and, and to go in there. And we found out how far back it goes. I thought it went much further back than it did. But it turns out that it was probably about 35 yards, you think? Yeah, definitely. That's great. Okay, we're going to make our way down. I'm Beer Chuck Wood and I'm the greatest. Grand Teton National Park, about 8 in the morning, and this is what happens when you get up early. And Rachel's so thrilled to be getting up at her, oops, I'll get her dropping back. Oh. Rachel's so glad to be getting up early. Yeah. That's what happens when you see grizzlies. You gotta get up early. <laughs> <laughs>